and you let a Canadian cop take your car and all of this stuff. Never, I don't know. I don't know these people. Just keep in mind. Never had any conversation with these people ever in my life. Right? All they do is watch whether it's our YouTube or they watch the IG or whatever, and coming up in our chat. But then he dropped this one. I'll pay you a thousand notes, PayPal, if you can show me where Moorish American is federally recognized anywhere on the planet. Thousand notes. So I said, all right, about to go live. There's the PayPal right there. Make sure you send the thousand notes. Just make sure you send the thousand. There's the, there it is right there. So the first place you want to go is you want to go to Oldie But Goodie. Oldie But Goodie. The Journal of the Moorish Paradigm. My brother Hakeem Bey. And this is entitled The Moorish Empire. The Moorish Empire, right? Remember, he wants what he asked for it. Pay you a thousand PayPal if you could show me where Moorish American is federally recognized anywhere on the planet. Anywhere on the planet. Right? That Moorish American is recognized. Meaning what Nobujuali brought and all that stuff because they keep playing this game like we're not Moroccans, the real Moroccans are over there and we don't know what we're talking about. We need to go back to Morocco and all this. Alright? Okay. Just remember to just remember to send just remember to send a thousand notes right there. Cultural educators at gmail.com. That's the PayPal for the thousand notes. And maybe you can take a little collection from the crew, talk to Chief X and Rawborn and all the NBK crew to put up the thousand bucks. Since you want to talk crazy, this guy wants to talk crazy in our DM. Like, you think we're these Moor Science Temple of America sing hymns to Noble Juali Moors. We're not those Moors. You you got us effed up if you think that we're those Moors. We'll go to page 30. Speech of His Excellency, Mati Jorio, look him up, Ambassador of Morocco, at the Moorish Centennial Celebration honoring Noble Juali. Remember, this is from the Ambassador of Morocco, which is anywhere on the planet. But they recognize Moorish Americans to the point that they were at the Moorish Centennial Celebration in honor of Noble Juali. And His Excellency, Mati Jorio, look him up. Ambassador of Morocco over there. Was over here in Washington at the Howard Inn on January 11th, 1986 to do a speech about honoring Noble Juali. Let's hear what the hell this guy has to say. Because these are the same guys that our people say they don't know nothing about the Moors. The Fez doesn't come from you guys, it comes from them. No Juali is not a real prophet. They tell you all this BS, right? right? Let's see what the ambassador of Morocco has to say. Let's see what the ambassador has to say. Because you people keep letting these people play around with your birthright. We're trying to tell you about your birthright, and then you're playing around. Like, like we're the ones that have something messed up or something. It is a privilege for me and for the other staff members of the Embassy of Morocco to attend this, the Noble Juali Centennial Tribute Dinner. Please let me take this opportunity to express to you our collective appreciation 
for your kind invitation and my personal appreciation for having been chosen to receive the Ambassador of the Faith Award. I am greatly honored. It is also a pleasure for us to be in the company of such distinguished guests as those here tonight and to be taking part in such a joyous celebration. We are happy to bring you all greetings from His Majesty King Hassan II, look him up, and the people of Morocco, look them up. By now, I have been made well aware of your devotion to strengthening the ties linking the Moorish American community to Morocco. Not the Moroccan American, not the African American, not the whatever, the what Noble Juali brought. Moorish American. Remember, this is the ambassador of Morocco talking. Morocco, for its part, welcomes your interest and your work for a better understanding between us. I would like you to know that your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Your initiative is to be both respected and encouraged to all you Negro, Black, Colored, African, whoever's. Remember, these are Africans talking. Morocco's in Africa, right? So remember, these are Africans talking. As to you, we in turn have every intention of doing all possible to make our relationship a vibrant and special one. But for that goal to be met, we must also look to the future. We cannot limit ourselves to considering just the historical aspects of our relationship, thereby believing that good relations between us are a matter of faith. Rather, we should understand our cooperation to be a living entity able to grow and open the future. It is here that we can begin to recognize the importance of our children's role. Whatever the advances we make, it is our children who will have to follow through. You think... Now, this is Ambassador of Morocco, which means this is international because it's not here in North America. It's across the Atlantic Ocean in a kingdom over there called Morocco. Is that recognition enough? Oh, that's not enough? Okay. Since you want to recognize that one. So, this is from the Register of Copyrights, an associate librarian for copyright services. There's a seal of the Copyright Office. The Copyright Office is federal, right? It's, it's a federal thing, right? All right. Copy of application AA222141 that you can call the Library of Congress right now and ask them about this and they'll tell you that it's filed there in case people don't want to think the application didn't go through. Application went through. This is just a copy of the application. Because when we call the Library of Congress to get the certificates, because that's what the Moors that brought us up told us to do, Call the Library of Congress, tell them you're a Moorish American, and you want the CMB certificates. And they're going to gladly oblige, which they gladly obliged. And then she came back on the phone and said, the certificates aren't there. So, the certificate's not there. There's supposed to be a certificate there, yes. The certificate's not there. So she gladly sent us copies of the application. 
so we can have something from them acknowledging the point of going to the Library of Congress to have the federal people give you your clock of destiny books to give you your zodiac constitution and your clock of destiny nationality card so this is for clock of destiny Moorish American nationality card. Zodiac Constitution. <laughs> Citizenship, Moorish American, not black. Not any of that. We'll get back to we'll get back to the to, to the the stuff in the Library of Congress. Let's go through this first. Moorish American. Remember, that's copyright office. So that's federal. So that's federal recognition of Moorish American. So we have an international recognition. Then we have a federal. We have an international federal recognition. The Emperor of Morocco. The ambassador of Morocco, the king of Morocco, the people of Morocco. That's international. We have their recognition of Moorish American because their ambassador came to the Nobu Juali celebration. Secondly, was the AA22141, which was filed in the Library of Congress under a Moorish American by the name of Pleasant of Charles Mosley Bay and he was giving you something that said Moorish American your nationality card there was also AA209316 Clock of Destiny, Masonry, Astrology, and History, and Geography. Clock of Destiny, Charles Mosley Bay. Was that citizenship? Moorish American. Not United States citizen or none of that. Moorish American. Remember, this is Moorish American. And remember, this is the Copyright Office. So this is federal recognition of who the Moorish Americans are. It's not what we say. It's what the European colonists are saying. Then AA77869. Clock of Destiny, Charles Mosley Bay, Citizenship, USA. Two out of the three registrations have Moorish American. One has USA. Now back to the Library of Congress and the certificates that they're supposed to have to give every Moorish American who asked them for it. They're supposed to get it. So what happened is that somebody who had jurisdiction over those moved them. Come to find out it was Clock of Destiny under Nakim Bay, who right now 
they're doing their clock of destiny stuff and you got to wear a red tie and all that stuff and and they turned it into whatever they turned it into it's, it's no longer belonging to the people it's not the people's stuff which is why people were mad at rvbaypublications.com because they're putting out the clock of destiny books and they don't got jurisdiction to put that out because they're not because we're not what what do you mean we're not what say it say that we're not we're not members of clock of destiny we don't have to be he filed it under moorish american he filed it as moorish american and a nationality card from the clock of destiny says moorish american it doesn't say clock of destiny member they were mad and started their campaign and campaigns have been going on and try to make rv bay publications look like they don't know what they're talking about and all these people who are out here they know what they're talking about right not only that, remember, this was Yahshua 33 talking crazy in our DM. You want to pay a thousand notes, show you where Moorish Americans, federal like that. We already showed you. So there's the PayPal right there. But we're not done. I'm still, still going to show you more just because you want to play dumb. Have our people not see this as a birthright. Have them look at this like this is some club. This is not no fucking club. This is not so, some join up shit. This is not that. This is about birthrights. You guys wouldn't dare talk shit to Chinese people about why they say they're Chinese, they should call themselves yellow or whatever. Never. Never. Once. All these Europeans murdering people on the side of the street kidnapping people doing all type of madness and then you have people putting up moors who are standing up for their rights and they get kidnapped and then you have them putting up people's videos talking crazy like see you don't know the law and moors get arrested and all that stuff and they never say one word to these highwaymen who are kidnapping people they say one word these people have been known about casting couch now you think they're coming out talking about some pedophilia stuff. Now you're jumping on some bandwagon. Get the hell out of here. You people have been riding with the pedophiles, the LGBTQ and all that. Been riding with it. Don't play around now. Don't play around now. You guys cut off boys' penises to make them be girls and stuff like that. That's what, that's what our people have come to. Because all those are our brothers and sisters. All those people doing madness. Right? All those people adopting little boys and dressing them like girls and all that stuff. Like that, you know, you know they got stocks in prison. You're buying their shoes. You know they got stocks in prison, right? Oh, so you're you're just gonna? It doesn't matter. 1500 for a shoe, right? But we tell you about some facts about Mars and that the whole world recognizes you and you're a dumbass if you think that you're Negro, Black, Colored, African American, you came here on a slave ship, indigenous, you're some tribe from some, some Dawes Rolls and you did your genealogy to know you're Cherokee or whatever like that, you're a dumbass. And you continue to suffer, which means we're all, we all suffer even if we call ourselves Moors, but we already know, because Juali already told Moors, hey, some of the, some of the good Moors are going to get their, their coattail burnt. So all the good Moors ain't worried about our burnt coattail. We are looking, we, we already, we know he's a prophet. We're not in denial of he's a prophet. We know that he's a prophet. You're not trying to convince us about he's a prophet. We already know what's up. We've been studying his lessons. And he ain't been wrong yet. He's like little voice. Never been wrong. Everything he said come to pass. Whether you want to call him Walter Brister. Whether you want to call him Thomas Drew. Whether you want to call him, you know what I mean, fuck boy from wherever. Doesn't matter. The prophecies came through. What are you going to do? Not ride with it? Oh, well, you're not going to ride it because he's Walter Brister? Well, you're not going to ride with it. 
Oh, he's Thomas Drew, and he had crystal balls, and he was he had a purple cape, and he was flying and, and stuff like that. You're not gonna. Right? It doesn't matter. It's about the lessons. Do you get the lessons? Do you get the lessons? You play in games. If you got the lessons, then you know what's up. And if you're not telling, then you're obviously working with the other side. And then we step down off the soapbox. 1933. Resolution 75. Remember, he wanted federal acknowledgement of the Moorish Americans. The resolution was read by the clerk as follows. In the House of Representatives, April 17th, 1933, many sons and daughters of that proud and handsome race which inspired the architecture of Northern Africa and carried into Spain the influence of its artistic temperaments have become citizens of this nation. In the city of Philadelphia, there exists a Moorish American society. Moorish American. Moorish American. Why? Because that's who we are. Play all the tribal fiction games all you want to. Not taken with the fact that we're Moorish American. Not taking away the fact that we're Marsh American. So he was mad. Came back. In the chat. In the DM. Talking crazy. Well, you know you're not going to give up the thousand notes or whatever. If, I get, if the thousand notes are there, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised if the thousand notes is there. Well, just in case you... Watch this and you didn't try to skip, you know, skip pass or something. There's the, there it is right there. Because remember, we just showed you, we just showed you where Moorish American is federally recognized anywhere on the planet. Right. First place we showed you, Resolution 75. Or last place we showed you, Resolution 75, where it says Moorish American right there. And this is Legislative Journal, House of Representatives, federal. So we showed you there that it says Moorish American. They know who the Moorish Americans are. We showed you in the filings, the CMB filings, right, there it is right there, Bay, Bay, that's Moorish American, he filed it as Bay, if he filed it as Bay, doesn't that mean that they accepted his nationality card and anything he gave them as identification in order to file this, don't you have to show some type of identification if you're going to go file something at the Library of Congress? And again, federal, Bay, that's Marsh American. If you don't want to go with that one, then you can go with Marsh American. It says it right there on the form to register. Marsh American. Can't say they don't know who the Moors are. They know who the Moors are. Problem is our people don't know. And because we don't know, we're the ones that suffer. Everybody else who knows about the Moors, you notice they don't suffer? They're not complaining about dumb stuff. They do what they're supposed to do as a nation. They just do what they're supposed to do as a nation. You know, 50 guys coming up with 50 different flags talking about, yeah, we need to unite our nation. What are you talking about? We're the only ones that talk crazy. And then the first one that we showed you was the letter or the transcript of the speech of the ambassador of Morocco, Mati Jorio, look him up, when he went to Washington, D.C., 
on January 11, 1986 for the Moorish Centennial Celebration Dinner in honor of Noble Juali. This is Morocco from across the Atlantic Ocean. Morocco from across the Atlantic Ocean was in town and decided to go check the Moors. And you think nobody knows what this is about? You think that some guy wrote a book, said Noble Juali is a pedophile, and some guy wrote a book, said Noble Juali is really not Noble Juali. He was a circus magician doing backflips and stuff like that. He was a clown-ass nigger. How come you guys don't do that with El Hajj? I don't hear nobody talking about him when he was red or whatever. How come you guys don't talk about him when he was red? When he was a dumb nigger, nobody doesn't talk about that part of his life. Everybody talks about the part of his life where he was liberating our people. So how come when it comes to Noble Juali, people want to be digging up stuff and going back into his, his mom was a prostitute and all this stuff? What? Why are you going back into stuff that has nothing to do with the message? This is how you know that these people were agents and sent. Like we said, we don't know, buddy. He just came in our in our DM promoting his black stuff because he thought, oh, Moors. And then he said that he's going to run over and talk some BS and then we're not going to say anything because the Moors just sit back and let people talk crazy about Noble Juali, talk crazy about the Moroccan flag, talk crazy about Moroccans, talk crazy about anything having the fez, talk crazy about the turban, or oh, the crescent, the star, they're talking crazy about that. And then we look at all the other nations, and I don't see them making videos telling Chinese people they're dumb for saying that they're not yellow. I don't hear them making videos telling Sikhs that they need to take off their, their dishcloth from their head and all that stuff. Why are they wrapping their drapes around their head and all that? How come they don't talk crazy to the Sikhs? It's all to get you away from what was presented to you by this man, Noble Drew Ali, that you're not Negro black colored and you have a connection to a history that you didn't know about. And as soon as you connect yourself to that history, you realize that everybody knew around you. Good example of that. One of the mores that we know, Brother Sheldon.